Okay, and that's the guy with uh, with the Kazaku's priest if he didn't change. And that's exactly the matchup I want to play. So I'm glad I've changed. So let's let's be the gatekeeper of rank one. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's a question why I'm changing the decks. Like, um, in the top legend, you're trying to metagame a little bit because sometimes people are counter queuing, sometimes you want to counter queue, and it's also probably. Or I believe it might be a little bit entertaining for you that, let's say someone doesn't like Druid, someone doesn't like Warlock, someone doesn't like Rogue. So at least you don't have to stay there and be bored by the deck, so... I, I don't know, like, I, I'm, like, I'm doing it um, for myself a little bit because I feel it's correct to change the decks uh, a lot in the top legend, but I also feel it might be more interesting for you. But if it's not like and you believe I should stick to one deck, that you can learn it better or get a better insight about it, then just let me know and we can agree that I will play, let's say, five games with Druid and five games with Zoo or, some, or something like this, yeah? But I think it might be interesting for you as well. Okay. Okay, now pick up Auctioneer. If I wouldn't, I would consider using a Nourish for card draw, but now I can simply ramp because I can draw a lot with this. Next time I will probably simply ramp again. Eventually I could go Malfurion, but we'll see. And I probably the ramping is correct because I can then play Kuhn and Auctioneer with all the stuff, yeah. Yeah, I missed quite some crystals. I, I can see your point that you wouldn't agree, but like the next turn is gonna be worth it, yeah. Okay. That's why I like Kuhn in this deck, yeah. Now we just go on a board. Let's do it fast. Because we are in a rush. Okay, so where do we Moonfire? We don't know yet. Okay, let's, let's, let's draw free with Wild Grow. Okay, can we draw another free with Wild, Wild Grow? And then we would uh, have too many cards. We definitely have the free free. We would get another zero mana spell. Then we could develop a giant. But uh, burning out the Jade Idol is the way how you lose the game. And it's like 1 to 11. And you don't want to risk it. Like if I would know I would pick up Moonfire and narrate it would be amazing. Because then I can develop the giant. But it's... Not what I'm willing to risk, yeah. Uh, here's a question, so like, um, I'm gonna say you which cards are mandatory and which cards are not mandatory. I feel the mandatory for the decks are Gadget Sun, at least one Arcane Giant, Infestation, and like the, the cheap spells are also required. I think you can run very easily the deck without Fundral, without Malfurion, without Kuhn, or without Second, second Arcane Giant. And you can add Yoke or you can add Doomsayer. Like this version is very good versus versus Priest. Do I wanna I probably don't want to develop the giants here because like the most scary play for me is if he goes if he goes undoing and against that I don't wanna give him the value of killing a minion. I can keep this, like, because I have quite a decent turn now. I want to play Malfurion. The circle of life is over. And I want to get rid out of Jade Idol. Okay. I probably save this because I can draw one extra from Auctioneer. So I just trade here. I pass him. I guess they have double scale, so it's basically heal 20. Like, the bad thing is, uh, 
like you most of the time want to utilize infestation before you go off with auctioneers but obviously like, you just go off with the auctioneer in case you don't have any other option but um that's how it's uh, oh it is okay to pull it now now we should draw how many cards do we have nine So I guess we want to cycle Naturalize. Draw one extra, but what can you do? Could have overdraw him a lot, but I don't think that was necessary. But I wanna... Give me the idol, I wanna get the idol. I said it sucks not having idle here. So we have 120 here, so we're at 45. Like this. Maybe we should have played one giant and scales, I don't know. And maybe not, maybe not. Who knows? No, probably it was correct what I did. There's a dragonfire potion. Fine. So if we play Thunder on Nourish. Now it kinda sucks it because we take fatigue damage. So what can we do? We can play Giant Infestation. We took too much fatigue damage then. Next turn we will play Infestation, we take one Fatigue. And then we play five Idols or some four Idols in Shuffle. We are 49, we hit, we are 46, we are 51 after we infestation, but we take two fatigue, so we are 49. 46 after, we will take another fatigue. We don't need to kill Raza, right? Because it will be killed by Anduin. So if we trade...
Like the problem is that the jades are kind of small. Hmm. Like the bad thing is when the Thunder turn came out, I didn't play three jade idols. Maybe I should have done it differently. Yeah. But he doesn't have undoing. That's good. Yeah. So now I'm threatening with Lethal, so he kind of should play Dragonfire Potion or Raza. Then I go all in on the board, yeah. Okay, so he's healing. So what can we do? We can Infestation. And then go face. So we are... 37, 47, 52, then we take one fatigue damage. Mm, it's actually free, so it's 52, 49. Then we make such a big board that he can handle it. Okay, that looks legit. Then. And if we go, so we play seven idols. We can play this right. Okay. Hmm. So we have forty-eight basically. If he goes now, undoing. Maybe I should have trade here. Definitely shuffle. Definitely heal. And I develop some jades. Probably I can more. If he heals, it's 27. It's 9, 13, 20. Can I do one more? I guess I can do one more, yeah. If he goes undoing, I just play free jades. Okay. So, I'm the gatekeeper of rank one. It's nice. Hi guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you like it and if you did, make sure to leave a comment, like or if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button.